Welcome back to the Black Frog. Mission 4. The Lady and the Thief. You have learned that the Black Frog is a glyph. Now you understand why the Keepers are so interested in this thing. Find some information about locating the glyph. Okay. Got a message from the Keepers. We have Gary Valdi's notes as well. That sounds useful. We've got a thousand to spend. What do I want to spend it on? Interesting that we're getting offered a breath potion for sale. I don't think I've got the money to spend because, like, that's that's what I want to have in hand. But then I need a rope. Don't want to go anywhere without a rope arrow. I will sacrifice one flash bomb for a rope arrow. Oh, now I can't see the water arrows. Sure, that should have been scrollable. Hang on. Do that, then I can grab two water arrows, and I can put this back, and then I can grab a rope. Okay. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Uh, do I need two healing potions? I probably do. You know, I usually. <laughs> two water arrows are not very much, and these are 250. I have no broadheads. Well, there's a lot of stuff I would like. Um, I get one more, you know, well, let's get one more water arrow and one more flash bomb. Oh, can I do that? Put that back, get that. Then... That gives us our healing potion. Okay, yeah, it's a little awkward. There's too much for sale and it... You can't scroll it. Well, sometimes it's supposed to be scrollable, but it's not working. Ah. Uh, but in Thief 2, this part was scrollable. Even if this part never seems to be. Never mind. One healing, two flash, one rope, three water. That will do. Well, we rode our little boat straight into this cave. There's a note waiting for me, but let's read what the keepers have got to say first. Garrett, you gave the portrait to Sir Belmont. It was a mistake, but we could not prevent it. We read this last mission, so I, would I really read it again? No, but we do remind, remind you, let us remind you that the Black Frog is in the form of a harmless object, a golden framed oval mirror. Be careful. Okay, and Garibaldi's notes, is that the same as we saw before? Yes, it's talking about the, uh, hmm. Again, I read that a couple of minutes, a couple of uh, episodes again. Antennas. Um, crystal of high purity. Antennas at strategic locations. Any attempt to break in will have to undertake an obstacle course to disable the receptors. Okay, fair enough. We'll have work to do. Garrett, you arrive a little late. Belmont's men are already here and have taken control of the area. Traces of their brutality are everywhere. The Black Frog is kept in a small fortress held by the priests of the Order of the same name. Be warned, Garrett. The priests and the soldiers of the Order are uneducated and fanatical. They are not much of an army, but they are well trained. They will do anything to protect the artifact from intruders. This castle is located behind a fortified tower containing an ingenious system designed by Sir Garibaldi to block access to its gates. Find the sentry tower, Garrett. That's all I can say. We have no other information. Find that tower and it will take you to the Black Rock. But above all, beware of the Lady Emily Victor. She has tremendous powers and she is closely linked to the Glyph. The Order of the Black Frog is under her control. The people of the island are also very attached to her, an attachment driven by either loyalty or superstitious fear. I would advise you to start your search in the village. You may find interesting information about your quest. It is located near the underground exit. Good luck, Garrett. Keep it Gerald. What, you're already here ahead of me and you still want me to do your dirty work? It would be smart to find a map of the island to help you get what you want. The village is a good starting point. You know what? A map would be good. Alright. Have a pond here. Is there anything value in here? Anybody dropped any anything? Or are there any water crystals? No, okay. Always worth a look though. You never really know. <laughs> 
More boats, lots of boats. Ow, oh, another repair. Okay, well, maybe I need to have spent money on one. Oh, okay. Hi, right, guys. Oh, it's not actually blocking the passage. What do we have over here? That's just a guy. He wishes he had his overshoes. Uh, I thought that was a trap. No, that's just this. Oh, the guards. They must be Belmont's guys. Do they have anything that I want? Used to be birds. I want that lamb. Deer. Venison. Venison, not mutton. What am I hearing his footsteps from? Oh, they're guarding a cave there. And something more. Hmm. Do I spend one of these on their fire? No, let's try and sneak here. Maybe I can make it. Just brush the curtains aside. <gasps> Do they suspect anything? Nay. Beautiful. What have we got here? It's a journey was horrible. I'm glad that I have a fast and powerful ship capable of withstanding the worst curses that the ocean can send us. Of the spirit of the sea joined forces with the spirit of the builder, we went through a terrible storm and one of my men is missing. All this forced me to delay my mission, which made me so sad. We established our camp in the caves leading to the heart of the island. Here we are well hidden and I can quietly find a way to enter the Black Frog's fortified castle. After getting entry and finding the lady, I will drag her out by her hair. Then I shall have my revenge. Oh, what fun I'll have. This land where the lady hides with her precious black frog is most unwelcoming. Is it the fog or the squawking of the crows that gives me this impression? Even the villagers seem to hide deep inside their homes. What are they afraid of? The power of the lady? Or would it be that ridiculous superstition that a horrible creature roams the centre of the island? Only cowards spread such gossip. Following, following a report from my men sent on reconnaissance patrols, I know what this dear Garibaldi and his cursed sponsor have in store for me. The gates leading to the castle will not be easy to get through. In fact, my men saw a tower located at the entrance of the castle from which emanates strange rays of light. These beams appear to protect the access to the lady's lair. We tried absolutely everything to break down the doors of the tower, but they remain closed. I'm sure it has something to do with these rays, but what the hell are they connected to, and how do they work? Ah, we are finally moving. The leader of one of my advance parties found a strange device in the village. It seems to activate a mechanism linked to the tower and affect one of the beams. I recognize Garibaldi's style. No doubt he spread these unusual machines all over the island, and I will need to disable them to finally open the doors that will lead me to the glyph. Finding these mechanisms will not be easy. They are certainly very well hidden, but it will be the only difficulty, and soon I will enter the lair of the lady. The rest will be easy, judging by the poor quality of the so-called Order of the Black Rock Army facing us. My mercenaries will quickly kill these uneducated and stupid beggars. The Order of the Black Frog. What a pompous name for simple fish eaters. These poor devils know nothing about war. Their only purpose in life is to, su is to survive on this small and isolated island. Now you know what to do. Deactivate the devices that keep the tower doors closed and infiltrate the castle. Yes, you kind of already knew that. Can I read the other note? No. Rusty lever. Okay. Oh, I can read the other note. Sir Belmont, our investigation is still going on according to your instructions. When we arrived in the village, we encountered some difficulties. Men of the Order of the Black Frog were already there, but they were quickly neutralized. We arrested Lise, the daughter of the old village leader. Nothing came out of her interrogation, so perhaps we should go to the next level of persuasion, awaiting your orders on this. We have also managed to capture her father. He was hiding in a mill on the northeast side of the island. My men are questioning him on the location of the controls for disabling the tower. I think that they will not be as nice as they were with his daughter. 
My men have also found a passage near the village leading to another part of the island. Alas, they know not how to open the iron gate. I looked through the bars and I saw a guy walking in an odd manner. He didn't look very healthy. I do not know why, but that place gave me goosebumps. Captain Neil. Alright, uh, that's got information for us. So it's Lee's interrogated. Lee and Lee's father interrogated. Ah, uh, well, captured, I suppose. We probably want to try and rescue this. Belmont doesn't seem like a nice guy. Even if we were working for him, that was that was that was a job. That was just business. But this is worse. Um, he was hiding in a mill northeast. Passage near the village leading to another part. Um, passage near village. Iron gate. Creepy guy? Yeah, alright, well. Go slowly here. Who's there? Nobody. Uh, not this time. I just saw this chest that I didn't see before as well. Alright, this one's easy enough. I wouldn't try and go where that where that guard is patrolling on the wooden bridge. I think that would be uh, a good way to get seen. Hello, more information. Do not go there. Do not go into the abandoned fishery. It is a place of death. The Charaka, that huge beast, is not a myth. It exists. I saw it eat all my men one by one. Well, I didn't see it, but I know it's the Charaka. Oh, Builder, they had no heads. We were on patrol over there when our guys started to disappear as we advanced. So we realized that there was a problem somewhere. Why would guys disappear like that? So we turned around to search the area, and then we found the guys, and, and they had missing body parts. Their heads were gone. And then suddenly one of my men said that he could hear strange noises. And I also heard them. It was like a very deep grunt, a gut-wrenching sound. I told my guys, let's get the hell out of here. We ran as fast as we could. But when I arrived at the entrance of the tunnel, I realized that I was alone. That beast got them all. Do not go there, I tell you. Although Belmont does not believe it, this monster does exist. And it is hungry or very angry. The beggars here say that this creature is invulnerable, and I think that I believe them. Promise me never to go there, but... There's a head-eating monster in the middle of the island. Invulnerable? Ah, myths. Never heard of an invulnerable creature. Okay, so I can go that way. Wasn't there? There's also go this way. So I'm curious about this one first. Goes up. I mean, very likely it joins on. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a lever. Oh, and there's guards out there too. Okay, so let's stay exploring these caves for the moment. More guards. Oh, well, that's just here. These guys have anything on the belts to pickpocket? Doesn't look like it, and I'm gonna get spotted if I sit there. usually just the wind. So then the other tunnel doesn't join this one. Just take a look as he comes. As he comes right for me. Okay, I don't think you expect him to come this far, but I guess he does. <clears throat> They both go all this way. I could have just maybe got lucky before. Okay, he comes back. 
Check out the lake here. Oh, I see. Maybe it does join up here. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be anything in the water for me. them to go again before I can get out and head down this other passage. Well, at least I get to watch them. So maybe that is joined up to the other side passage. Oh, hello. There is something forming the lake, it's just more subtle. Yeah, more of these. slowly so they don't hear me splashing. Just a gentle breaststroke. No need for uh, any faster splashier swimming. Massive boulder there, I wonder if that maybe is blocking something. Joins up. Yes. Okay. Now we go up and out. My guard's going away from us. Good timing for our, for us then. It's more than one now. It's a plant. Okay. He's coming back. I'm going to follow him up. I think it's probably the best way to... Safest way to make progress here. Got to find all the devices. I don't even know how many there are. Yeah, let's see if we can find the village and find this map. That's a good idea. A nook. Who's there? Oh. Nothing making noise now. be the way to the village then. I guess. What's what's west over the bridge then? Is that Belmont's encampment? I can see something on the ground over there. Not sure what it is. Scrunched paper maybe? What is that smell? It smells like old meat. Hello? Show yourself. No will. Guess it was nothing. That was a <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> what was that? You know, what was the bright thing I could see? It's a glowy mushroom, of course it is. Oh. Oh. Milady, things have gotten worse here. Lord Belmont's mercenaries arrived in our village as you predicted. They locked all the villagers in their homes, and much to our dismay, they have found one of Sir Garibaldi's machines that secured the tower. I think that they are beginning to suspect something. They captured my father at the old mill and they want to question him about the other machines that we have installed on the island. Please save my father. He is old and he will not last long under Sir Belmont's torturers. But alas, I have some very sad news. My brother stole the map showing the locations of the machines that father secretly kept in his tobacco pouch. My brother is a man who cannot be trusted. He is mean and he is also a coward. 
He wanted to give them out to Sir Belmont's men. Luckily, I managed to lock him in the old fishing shack behind the village, on the outskirts of the island. But I am afraid that the mercenaries might find the shack. I know that Father made a mistake by keeping this map. He should have burned it. But you know my father. He admired Sir Garibaldi so much, so he kept this map as a souvenir of their work together. We are in great distress, my lady. May the Reaper, the Charaka, Guardian of the Black Frog, watch over us. I beg for your help, my lady, and the help of the great Charaka. May my soul always be with you. Please. Save the lives of the village chief. Save the life of the village chief from the brutal mercenaries sent by Belmont. I would like to. It's already on my to-do list. Okay, this is a, a deep pond. No, just a small one. Oh, it doesn't seem to be hiding any water crystals either. They don't seem to be coming this way. Hmm. He says as they start coming this way. <laughs> that was, uh, Hello. Very poorly executed on my part. Be another one right there. Building? What building? Just make one mistake. Back up a little so maybe I can see him. Well, he's gonna take a while to come down because he actually saw me and he's not gonna calm down fully. I guess. You see, I hope he's not coming to take a piss in this pond. That would be very inconvenient for me. <sighs> what does that smell? It smells like old piss. Huh, that can't be me. I'm sorry I emptied my bladder a few minutes ago. <sighs> not into my trousers. Okay, so there are the two guys here covering each other? Because that would be quite hard to uh, get around them if so. Breaking and entering. Perp still here. So he just got riled up again. Okay. I tried to make it more interesting for you. Hello. I see one board at the top of the waterfall there that I had. Uh... Hello. That I have been overlooking. <laughs> Let's just see what is up here. to go past those guards directly. <laughs> Can that uh, go along the river? Or maybe there's just roots. 
And secrets up here. Secret supply of water arrows. Okay. So that's nine water arrows. That's a lot better than when we started off with the three that I bought. I probably should have spent my money then on the uh, the healing potions and stuff and flash bombs. Oh well, we're probably not going to find many uh, flash bombs, I guess. Now I need to wait for him to leave again, this time so I can do a high dive. I don't know, maybe this would be a good screenshot. <laughs> well, if I really want a screenshot, hang on. <laughs> Might be better from uh, my top here. I don't know. Well, let's dive in. Is this the other... This must be the other entrance I talked about. Behind this gate is the children of the Black Frog's territory. For your life's sake, go back where you came from. I see. The skull is the lock. Okay. So that is what? That's west of the village bridge. Okay. We've got that torch out, you know. Well, there's two of them there. I thought it was further away. Oh well, don't know what it was. Problem is I can't actually see where they are. Alright, well let's try going now. <laughs> The village. The shift. I gotta calm down. Do they have something. There's a dead villager. Oh, they have a sword in their hand. I guess so. There's a well. We could maybe uh, get down. I don't want to tackle this. I want to go around to the right there, actually. I'm going to get spotted right now if I try, I think. Oh, so he does a circuit around the houses. I wonder if his friend does as well. Oh, no. Hang on. There's, that's someone else. Oh, wow. Two more guards patrolling out here. All right. I guess I got lucky when I came out of the water then that they weren't that they weren't nearby. Alright, let's try making a run for it. Oh, I can't get around the back of this building. I thought I would be able to. Can I get on the roof? Maybe. <laughs> I 
Maybe I'm not supposed to go this way. It's seems surprisingly quiet. Well, it works. Built in a way that allows me to. Even if it seems unintended. Are you coming over here? I'm not sure where those guys who patrolled up and down the side here actually are. They're, well, there's one of them. This room I can get on. Okay, once again, it's quiet at the top. So it might be not an intended passage, but I'm going to go anyway. through there, but that's not a guard. This is one of the villagers locked in their homes. Interesting that I can... Uh, well, let's try and avoid waking him up, I suppose. Is that where I wanted it to, in the end of the beam? Yes, indeed. Okay. Guys, it's just 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 some clanking feet on wood. Uh, Nothing exciting. All right. Okay. What's that? going on here? Coward, face me like a man. I know you're around here somewhere. The oh, here. Come <laughs> on, man. Well, let's escape them then. Maybe I should just knock him out. Come on, come on, come on. Then face me. Five of them at once, you know, that'd be a good use for my flash bomb. Damn. Where'd he go? You know what? Let's try it. Did I tell you? As soon as I find you, I'll find you. Just you wait. Ow. What was that? That's value for money, that is. Get the cops! We've got a thief! My objectives don't, don't, don't say don't kill anyone. There's already someone down here. He's got a fruit. Oh, I can't pick him up. I was going to get his body out. Carrot. I 
been murdering all the villagers. We're gonna get to feel what it's like. Wake up dead. This is, uh, it would be very funny now if there was a hidden objective not to uh, kill anyone. But technically speaking, I'm not killing them, the water is. Please. You all right, ma'am? I mean, I don't suppose you got any loot for me in here. You got some crates. Crates are always fun. You don't have any rat friends for me to feed. Well, you're free to go. Unfortunately, I guess you can't climb ladders, can you? Well, there's an upstairs as well. Belmont, more like hell font. It's the font in which we send you all to hell. Okay. So where? Sounds like another guard. So where are they interrogating the guy? Doesn't sound like it's one of the places here, so maybe it is out this way. Was coming or going. What's over there? Uh, with nothing. Well, let's play the big damn hero. Well, so they found him at the mill northeast, and that's heading south. Don't think I want to go south, do I? <clears throat> now let's head north. Let's see if we can find a way northeast of the village. Because presumably they'll be interrogating him at the mill? Maybe? Didn't they come from the north? I've definitely still got more of the town to explore, but like I feel like they've got them. <clears throat> I heard somebody yelling. Oh, we heard him talking to himself. But fine, he was just uh, one of the people locked up here, I suppose. <laughs> I guess I didn't check whether they might be doing interrogations in here or not. That doesn't sound like it. Right. Keep looking, we'll come back to the village in a minute. The mill, northeast. That's back where I came from. Yeah, hmm. Well, 
All right, well, I guess. Guess that question will have to wait. Let's let's finish searching the town here. Wait, the Charaka, they are here. They arrived this evening and locked everyone in the village. We cannot leave because they said they would kill us. The lady warned us, but we did not have time to hide. They took Lee's to the basement middle of the Ludo's house. They locked her in there. Why her? They keep asking us questions about Garibaldi's machines, but I said nothing. I hope that Lee's did not say anything either. Before they took her, she tried to give me something. A key, I think. I did not have time to take it, so she must still have it on her. Why did she want to give me the key? Hi, Delzo. Hide yourself well. You and your family. These mercenaries are ruthless. I hope to send you this message in time. Hers. Lee's had a key? We all want to take that from her if we can. If she's willing to part with it, that was important. Of course, they might think she might think I'm just as bad as the rest. I mean, I'm freeing them, but you know, they're still trying to protect this thing, and I'm still trying. take it myself, right? Technically. I think this is just an alternate way into the building. Nope, more fruit. Okay. It is. Okay, so that's the beam I was trying to uh, attach a rope to then. When I got uh, spotted. Okay. Anna's? What evil is this? Carrots, what beauteous, bountiful good is this? Empty chest, hello. Suspicious, rusty key. When Sir Garibaldi first arrived on our island, I was suspicious of him. I did not like this strange man with weird magical inventions. Although our lady reassured us about him, I still didn't trust him. But after many moons, I saw a good and rightful man in Sir Garibaldi. He always seemed a bit strange, but I learned to like the madness that was in him. We're just ordinary people who make a living from fishing and from what the sea wants to give us. May the Taraka forgive our fear before the man who can tame the forces of Earth and who is so close to Our Lady. Today we finished installing the last transmitter. I'm finally at peace and we can go back to our quiet life now that this work is completed. So Garibaldi asked me to destroy the map on which we had marked the location of the transmitters. So Garibaldi is a man with a heart full of courage. Nobody wanted to go into the area of the Children of the Black Frog to place a transmitter. We know too well the danger that lurks in these beings that nature has rejected. He managed to convince them to work for him. How did he do it? This man is truly a magician. We all owe him the utmost respect. I must confess that while being in the land of the Children of the Black Frog, I took the opportunity to look for their treasure. The legends say that they have the power of longevity. This power was offered by the Patriarch Monstros because they were the first to touch the Black Frog. But I found nothing. I do not know where to look. I'm worried. Our lady seems anxious, and Sir Garibaldi told me that we were not safe anymore. He said that some men wanted to take the Black Frog from us, and that they would find us someday, that it was just a matter of time. I hope that Sir Garibaldi and our lady are wrong. I fear for the village of my dear daughter Lees. The Reaper, the Charaka, Keeper of the Black Frog, is here, and it will protect us. It is said that no weapon or arrow can kill it, and our lady, in her goodness, will send the Black Dogs after those men. She has always been good to us, and that is why she also built the sentry tower at the gates of the castle of the priests, to allow us to live much longer under the protection of the Black Frog. This is the big day. We have turned the transmitters on, and they work. They are connected to the tower by blue rays. From what I understand, these rays prevent the tower doors from opening, which in turn prevents anyone from opening the gates of the fortress. The Black Frog is well guarded now. I'm only a poor fisherman. I bless the forces of Earth and the benevolent spirit of the Black Frog for allowing me to see that. Okay. Discover the Black Frog Children's Treasure. Optional. Okay, we have lots of optional objectives, and I do intend to try to do them. Aha, another way in. <laughs> do all the shutters open? It does seem like they do. No, not all of them. Most of them. Alright, so this was Lisa's dad's house. So this is the house where Lisa was. 
So what's that key I got? I got a rusty key. You don't have a key still on you, so did she hide it in her cell? She doesn't want to escape, but let's move this stuff out just in... Whoops. Just as not obstructing my search. What's not under there? Hello? Aha! The shanty key, alright. Well, I shan't. Be, I shan't be. Uh, what's the word? Ungrateful there. Oh, hello. Guess this is one of the transmitters, but how do I turn it off? The switch doesn't seem to function. All right. Well, we know where the transmitter is. Didn't we read about a shanty? Wasn't in the keeper's message. No. I don't think it was Gary Goldie's notes, but that's the only other readable I've got. Blah blah. No, 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 no. Maybe one of the other notes I saw I had mentioned a shanty. <coughs> I don't know if you're friendly to me or not, man, so let me just be quiet. Alright, let's use this guy as a marker. This is the transmitter house. Fish. Barrels. But not fish in barrels, that would be too easy. So you're there. The other house I haven't been to... Is this one over here. With our Snora. Oh, and this lady. Well, all the guards guarding the village are dead. So, you know, you people can go about your business. While I steal all your food. Oh, you want to be a pirate, do you? Aha! Oh, look at all the rat food and garret food. Beautiful. And first two points, giving me lots of health. Thank you, man. Thank you. How kind of you. They don't, they don't seem to be bothered by my presence. That's good. Is there an upstairs in this house? I see an upstairs window. There wasn't a ladder going up, was there? <laughs> Invisibility potion, okay. Nice. Okay, well, find a map. I haven't found a map, and I've been looking around the village. Not hiding a map in a barrel or anything like that. And have I been upstairs in all of these places? Definitely went upstairs here because this is Lisa's dad's house. I went upstairs in this half. Did I go upstairs in this half? No, I did not. Is this the one that talked about the shanty? Uh, no, they took Lee's. It's not exactly. Well, I mean, it might be something on the rafters. I can take a look, but it seems unlikely. Where was it I read about, um... The 
There's another note about that guy. I can't remember where I saw it. There wasn't a note in here. I mean, this is the... I see he hid the map in here, but we found his diary, right? Not where I read anything relevant. Maybe it was this guy's scroll? Wait, did I did I pick that scroll up? That was a papyrus, right? Oh I do I do have more stuff. Right, 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 right. Okay. That's the Belmont's guy's papyrus. Lisa's letter. Captured my brother at the old mill. Please save him. Brother stole the map. Locked him in the shanty. Right. On the village. Behind the village on the outskirts of the island. That's where I'm going to find the map. Okay. Let's head that way. I guess I could go out this way. Out east this way. Don't know where they've got her father, but I hope like, we can find him and rescue him. Something there. I guess it's nothing now. You know. Roast. You murderous swine. I don't know if he's actually taking damage there. I guess I'll find out if I can ever come back. We don't have to murder them all, you know, I guess. Technically speaking. Ah. Sister Shack. Some creature? Little one, I'll hurt you not. Hmm. No one. No one. Where's that key? I see this is a back window, back entrance. So we don't expect him to be friendly, right? And if he turns around. <laughs> Strange breaths of air. Just someone coming to steal. Just wind. Blow on, Ares. Oh, he's got a he's got a knife. Hmm. And only silences behind. The map. Oh wow. Okay. It's a village, abandoned fisheries, east sentinel tower, children's black floral west of the village. The old mill is in the well northeast, okay. So this must be where the shack is, right? It's and it where everything roofs. Or the shanty. Street. All the air is full of smoky garbage. Can't see a single bit of grass to stand on. Well, man. Shh, shh. Something quiet by. Hopefully, quiet mm. enough. Now. Who's the sneaksy? 
<laughs> All right. I guess I do get back to the village. Oh, maybe that key, rusty key, opens the children of the black frogs gate. That would make sense. Did he roast some? No. You know what? You might, you might as well. Uh, if you're not going to roast, then you can swim. Join your other fellows. So that key probably opens the black frog gate, right? The children of the black frog gate, because he said that. Uh, that he went there. So maybe he kept a key to the gate. We'll try that. We have to come back this way anyways, but as I can tell, I didn't see a way forward from that uh, shanty. So it's not far to that gate over there. We can put that theory to the test. <laughs> So much fun they're having swimming there while, well, like a holiday at the beach. I have to work. I guess I get to swim as well, but. <sighs> Alright. This is the territory of the children of the Black Frog. What are we going to find in here? I don't know, but we'll find out next episode. So I'll see you then.